All right, in this video, we're gonna learn how to rig our topper sailboat, which is one of our one-person sailing dinghies. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the boat out of the cubby. You can do that by either grabbing this blue line, the traveler, or grabbing the side of the boat. As you're pulling the boat out, just watch out for your toes. And once we pull it all the way out, we're gonna rotate the boat into the no-sail zone. Every boat inside the boat should have three things, the boom, the rudder, and the dagger board. So the first thing we're gonna do is uncoil the main sheet, which is wrapped around the boom, and set the boom next to the boat. We're also gonna grab the rudder and the dagger board and set those next to the boat. You're then gonna go back to the cubby that you pulled your boat out of, and we need to grab the two spars, which are the mast sections that we're gonna to put together here in a second. The connection pieces for our mast and booms have two different designs, so we just need to make sure that the boom inside our boat matches with the mast piece that we pulled out of our cubby. So right here we have an example of one of our designs, and here's an example of the other. Here's what they look like side by side. So like I said, you just need to make sure that the boom connection piece in your boat matches up with the spars that you pulled out of your cubby. Once we make sure that we have a matching set, we're gonna take the bottom and the top mast section and we're gonna slide them together. We wanna to make sure both of these red arrows are pointing at one another. That means that the two mast bars are set correctly. We can now grab the sail and we're going to unwrap it. And what we're looking for is the tack of the sail, which will be the front bottom corner. There's gonna be a pocket that Christian's gonna show us and that is what we're gonna feed over the mast. Christian's gonna to start to feed the sail all the way down the mast, and the goal is to pull it as far down as we physically can. We wanna make sure that we pull the sail far enough down that the very top of the mast is exposed. We're then gonna walk back down to the bottom of the mast, and we're gonna grab our down haul, which is gonna be the line with the little ball and the carabiner. We're gonna pull the sail as far down as we can, and we're gonna hook the carabiner onto the tack of the sail. You can see that on this mast, the downhaul is yellow. It's really important that we keep this totally loose as of right now. Now you can go to the top of the mast. You're gonna grab the halyard line and you're gonna stick it up and through one side and then down and through the other side. We're just making sure that after we do that, we pull the sail up as high as we can on the mast. We're now gonna tie a figure eight in the halyard line. It's really important that we tie this an inch and a half to two inches from the top of the mast because that'll help make sure that the sail stays as high as it can. We're now ready to put the mast into the boat. So you're gonna walk the mast over to the boat, either holding onto it or putting it on your shoulder. You'll then step inside the boat and guide the mast into place. When you step inside the boat, this is gonna be your view. Um, it's important that we make sure both of these blue lines are off to the side so that they don't get caught on the mast when you're trying to step it. Um, and so you're gonna make sure that you put the bottom of the mast into this cubby and then push the mast forward. We need to make sure as we push the mast forward that this black collar sits below this black piece. As Christian pushes it into its position, he's gonna pull the blue line on the right hand side, which will lock the mast in place, and then he'll put the key inside the little keyhole. You should also just be aware that when you step into the boat, you wanna watch out for the auto bailer up here in the top right corner. It has some exposed screws that can be sharp. All right, the mast is in position so we can move on to the boom. We're gonna grab the boom and we're gonna hook it up to the black collar on the mast. All right, we need to make sure that the boom is not on upside down. So as long as these pieces are on the bottom of the boom, we hooked it up correctly. If these pieces were on the top of the boom, it's upside down and we'll need to flip it. The next thing you're gonna do is pick up the boom and locate this little silver ring. This is gonna hook up to the clue of the sail. Once we've hooked it up to the clue of the sail, you're gonna find the black line, which is the outhaul, and on the very end of that is gonna be a carabiner. We're gonna hook up the carabiner to the silver ring that we just hooked up to the clue of the sail. We now need to tighten the outhaul, that black line. So if you follow it up the boom, you'll find where it comes out of this cleat and we're gonna tighten it by pulling it forward and up. 
you then can wrap the extra line around the boom nice and tight and tuck it underneath itself. Here's a better look at what the clue of the sail and the outhaul should look like. We now are going to work on attaching our boom bang. So you're going to grab the very end of the line and you're going to feed it through this silver ring on the boom. It doesn't matter what side you go through, left to right or right to left. We're then going to bring the end of the line back to where it's tied off on the mast and we're going to feed it through the top. Now, as you can see, when Christian feeds it through, it's going to come out the other side, which is what we don't want. So Christian's going to pull it back through and use his other finger to help guide the line forward. Lastly, we can tighten the downhaul by grabbing the orange ball and pulling it straight down. Just be aware that you'll want to adjust the downhaul, outhaul, and boom vang based on the wind conditions and your sailing ability. Now we need to attach our rudder to the boat. Christian is going to grab the tiller and the tiller extension and feed it underneath the traveler, the first blue line, but over the top of the second blue line. He'll feed that all the way in until he can line up the pins and the holes, which will lock the rudder in place. In the off chance that the rudder would come off the boat, we have a safety line to make sure that it doesn't float away. So the knot that we're going to tie is a bowline, and we're going to tie the bowline to this line. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is feed the safety line underneath the traveler, just like we did with the tiller and the tiller extension. But we're also going to feed it underneath the second blue line as well. I'm then going to create a loop in the line. And it's important that the tail side is on top. If I flip the loop around so that the tail is on bottom, it won't work. So I'm going to flip it back around so that the tail is on top, and I'm going to pinch right here at the bottom. We're then going to take the end of our tail, the rabbit, up through the hole around the back of the tree, and back through the hole. The very last thing we'll do is screw in the drain plug.